Look at any lens. Numbers everywhere. So today we'll find out what all of those numbers mean. We'll start with the two lines of numbers near the front of the lens. These represent focal length, or zoom. On a prime lens, which doesn't zoom in or out, these numbers just don't exist. The numbers represent the current focal length of the lens. Whichever number lines up with the line in the center of the lens is the current focal length of the camera. A smaller number is zoomed out more, and a greater number is more zoomed in. The top line is in feet, and the bottom line is in meters. There's a similar set of numbers at the back of the lens, which represents aperture. Aperture is the amount of light being let into your lens. Aperture also affects depth of field. The more light is let into the lens, the shallower your depth of field will be, or the more blurred out the background will be. It's important to know that a greater number represents a smaller aperture. For example, f1.8 will be letting in more light than f11. The aperture ring is actually uncommon on most new lenses. Even if you have a vintage lens, the aperture is probably controlled by the camera anyway. The stationary numbers in the middle of your lens show its range. The top two numbers are the minimum and maximum focal length. The numbers below represent the minimum aperture of both of those focal lengths. For example, this lens zooms from 35mm to 135mm, the minimum aperture at 35mm being f3.5, and the minimum aperture at 135mm being f4.5. This is why sometimes your image will get darker when you zoom in. Now for some nifty tricks and stuff. Focal length compresses space. A longer focal length, or more zoomed in, makes objects appear closer together. However, being more zoomed out will make objects feel more spaced apart. You know when you're watching a movie and you're like, Wait, what? The background is right there! I think I just freaked my neighbors out. That is a long focal length in action. The movie The Walk used this to amplify height. Since focal length compresses space, you can use a technique called the dolly zoom, which looks really weird and cool. This effect can be achieved by dollying your camera inwards and zooming out at the same time, or vice versa, by dollying your camera outwards and zooming in. This will keep your subject at the same size, but your background will change size. Anyway, that's all for today. New videos every Monday and Friday. Subscribe if you're new. Like and share this video with your friends. I'll see you in the next one.